Mike Chang is a marketing genius. He's got 2.1 million subscribers. I mean, he's a bit cheesy. I don't really watch his videos, but there are people out there that benefit from what he shares. Uh, he's able to reach a lot of people, and a lot of people follow him. And he's the biggest fitness channel on YouTube, and you have to give him a lot of respect for that. Now, whether you love him or hate him, it's not really what I'm talking about here. It's really more about trying to take the positive out of what people do. You know, everyone has something positive to offer. They don't necessarily have to be like someone that they might. If you see someone do something really stupid or say something really cheesy, it'll teach you not to do that. You know, you can learn something from that. And what I see from Mike Chang, even though Mike Chang seems a little cheesy. I do know he's helping people, and he's, and even though it's not what I want out of my fitness, and I don't really kind of believe a lot of his kind of his approach. I don't like. I don't really like his approach. It doesn't work for me. It might work for somebody else. And you know, when it comes to fitness, it's 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 such an individualized thing because people are picky as fuck, dude. They don't. People are unmotivated. People need something to keep them on track. For me. All it is is just is lifting weights. You know, I love deadlifting. I love I love kind of powerlifting style, bodybuilding stuff. I'm not really much into the whole kind of CrossFit thing. I do like watching it, and I'm a fan, but I don't really do the stuff. Uh, the whole thing about getting a six pack and getting ripped for a show is not in my interest, particularly because it's fucking hard, and I'm just not ready to commit to a diet that interferes my entire life in such a way where I have to cut calories, at least right now at least. And I'm going I'm freaking ranting here. But my idea is that my Chang has a way of kind of collecting subscribers because if you just you know click on almost any fitness video, he's almost always at the top. I'm just gonna type in uh, bench press. And in the upper right hand corner oh actually the first the first um the f the first search here is um well actually it's prison food taste test I guess they must be spending a lot of money from but anyways and then Mike Chang's pre workout right if I type in uh, deadlift max let's see deadlift max actually Mike Chang's not in there if I just type in deadlift let's see what I get Mike Chang is again Mike Chang's pre workout and he's obviously has a uh, campaign that's pretty aggressive of trying to collect more subscribers and get more views and that obviously helps him build his business he's also got a way to kind of calculate his back end I'm sure because obviously supplements are one of those things that's a recurring revenue stream so if someone buys a supplement and then you like it you typically will buy it again you have to keep buying it so that you can keep getting the benefits from it and that's kind of what you're trying to do when you're trying to build a supplement brand I guess I guess his supplement brand or the supplement brand he, he either supports it or he's in partnership with is uh, Afterburn. Now, talking about the supplements a whole different topic. I'm not a really big supplements guy, but I, I'll say that for another topic. I just want to talk about Mike Chang and his marketing. I mean, I don't know his what he's exactly what he's doing, but I do know that you know if you click on it, if you go to his channel you take a look at his six pack shortcuts he's got a bunch of videos about how to work out getting these body a lot of body weight workouts with you know there's some bench press stuff there's some freeway stuff but mostly kind of body weight stuff that anyone could do at home he's trying to encourage people to work out at home uh, he's trying to motivate people with his body he's trying to motivate people with bringing guests that have, that are ripped six packs on his with his body and that's what he's doing um, clicking on some links here. If you click on his links, you'll see that he has, you know, his Afterburn. He also has another uh, website which is called, uh, you know, sixpackshortcuts.com. I guess he's, he looks like he's trying to do two different kind of. He has two. There's two main products that he's selling. It's the Six Pack Shortcuts, which is the main product, and he has the Afterburn supplement. Uh, the Six Pack Shortcuts is kind of more like a, like a, almost like a kind of a P90X thing with a diet and a. Uh, his advanced fitness coaching, just kind of some stuff. Basically, it's a unlimited one-on-one -on -one personal email coaching. Oh, that's what he got. He's got a a uh, email. Let's see, his online coaching, and he charges a sixty-day money-back guarantee for ninety-seven dollars. It's interesting. So he's got a back end on how to collect money or make money. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all have to make a living. It's it's it's, it's a legitimate. So everything that I see that he's doing is legit. 
whether you agree with his method mythology. Because remember, like for someone like me, Mike Chang is not going to help me. It's just not my style of things. I don't like his approach. It's just not for me. But it could work for somebody. So it's just taking his looking at what he's doing and getting some ideas of how he gets more views. And if that's something that you're going to want to do, you know, take the good, you know. And, and, and I don't really watch his videos because I don't. Again, like I said, I don't like his approach. But I do try to see. Like the, like the names of his workout, like his 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 titles, I try to like I'll occasionally look at his website and I'll just see what he's doing because right now he's got a lot of a lot of a lot of star power on YouTube. So, anyways, that's just kind of my two cents on on six pack shortcuts. I I just thought I'd make a video and just share that.